What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Road to the Show with Dill Boot. We are in the middle of July 2032, which could only be one thing, and that is the All-Star break. That's right, we got the Home Run Derby, the All-Star game, and then the start of the second half, which means trade deadlines coming up as well. So all that's going on, and Dill right now is, I don't know how to put it, in unprecedented territory. And not in a good way. Not in a good way at all. If you watched last episode, it was one of the toughest times Dill had. And I'm saying that in a way that is not Dill-esque, right? Usually we're hitting a lot more home runs, hitting a lot better for average, because Dill is still having a very good year, right? He's hitting 534, 89 bombs, 109 ribs. But our expectations were much higher. And literally, you know... We have the the record for hit streak, and since we didn't get our hit, right, which was right here, we have been on the struggle bus. Now, there have been some bright spots here and there, uh, but for the, for the most part, the team and Dill have not been performing. Uh, so I made a couple changes. Again, this is going to be unprecedented for Dill because usually we have our equipment kind of set in stone, ready for the home run derby, ready to rock. Uh, I went back to my 6'8 bat. Uh, when I did my playthrough and then switched my gloves. So I had a very good series with the sweep, right? A little payback for the Yankees. Uh, had a very good series, probably my best series I've had since my hit streak. And uh, we're going to rock it. We're going to go with b this brand new equipment. We don't have any, any packs to open. Uh, so I'm just going to show you real quick. All we're doing, like I said, the 6-8 bat. And then the batting gloves is I'm, I'm going with the... Uh, Evo Shield Unrivaled. I'm going a little more contact, right? Contact, contact, because my stats appear to be a little heavy on the power. So I'm hoping to even it out and maybe just maybe just ride the rest of the season out. Hopefully, I mean, we're going to have to have a unbelievable two and a half months to do what we wanted to do, which is break our own home run record at 182 RBIs, runs, all that. Uh, one thing we have done already is break our stolen base record. So that's, that's good. Something we can work on, but I'm a little worried about the home run derby today because, like I said, it uh, I've never I've never been this new. Usually, I'm settled in, and I'm still I'm still kind of on the fritz. I'm on the fritz about basically Dill's hitting and being comfortable with the plate. So we shall see what happens. We're gonna take a look at the standings. That sweep there uh, got us back into first place overall in the AL, two games over the White Sox. So that's good news. We're starting to starting to play like we know how. Uh, but the Blue Jays, they're up to 19th and starting to do well. We, we hope, we hope that the Blue Jays make some moves uh, before the trade deadline. We did do uh, one deadline. If, I don't know if you better see it here, uh, but we got a reliever for Felix Bautista. Basically, that was a move uh, to get Felix Bautista off the books. We brought in a minor league reliever so that way we could move up yet another outfielder uh, to help out with the injury situation we got there. So I hope they just go out and get an outfielder, you know, a, a huge name, but we shall see. First, though, we got to we got to handle business with the home run derby. And let's get to it. Uh, play this home run derby. Dill boot 4.7. That is still under five home runs per game, which is very good. We were a little closer to four uh, even before. So, again, not Dill's best. You're still very, very good year for Dill, though. Uh, looks like Shohei Otani is in it this year. That should be fun, huh? Uh, and I do not recognize the other one there. Almost looks like Matt Olson. Don't think it is. All right, we got Royce Lewis in the first round. And then on our side, we have Shohei Ohtani, Tristan Casas, and then over on the other side, Matt Mervis, Robbie Ramirez, Christian Encarnacion, and just the guy that's always in it, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So, so again, pretty good mix of, of oldies, but goodies, and, and some new guys we don't know, especially there on the right side. So I am going to uh, switch this up. I think we usually put it there. I think that's what we do. But let's get into it. Let's see. I'm going to probably simulate through uh, all the all the computer controlled players just to get to us. And hopefully, hopefully we can rock it out. And by the way, guys, if you like what you're watching, please help me out. Help the channel out. Hit that like button for me. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, let's let's see. We are going to see what Royce Lewis does here. Uh, okay, fast forward through this. Nope, won't let me just yet. Okay, fast forward. 
Next user batter, what did Royce do? 21, oh my gosh, that's a huge, huge number. Let me get situated, hold on. Huge, huge number in round one. I think that's the biggest number. Yikes, it's all stacked against us. Can Dill come through? Not a lot of career home runs, so we should see what he does. 1,222 ain't bad for a nine-year career. All right, here we go, Dill. Come on, buddy. That's early. You're early, Dill. Early. There we go, huh? That's the stroke. There. Yeah, just keep cleaning it up, Dill. You know, want to hit a little bit more line drives. You know, get these balls out of here quick. I mean, that had movement to it. Come on, guy. Come on, baby. Get on out. Get out. Nope. Come on, Dill. I'm not... At this point, I'm not even moving my cursor. My uh, BP pitcher... There, I moved it finally. Seems to be on point. Missed one there. Oh, okay. He's missing a little bit now. Still hitting him out, though, baby. Come on. What are we at? Okay, 230. And we've only got seven home runs. Oh, yikes. Turn it on, Dill. Come on. One. That's one in a row. Let's go. Two. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Three. I'm going one more, and then I'll call my timeout. Four. Okay, got to 11. 147 left. Boy, this is a huge, huge number. Especially round one. Especially with new equipment. Come on. Here we go. No, and then I'm early. Can't be doing that. There we go, Dill, huh? There's one. We will get that bonus time. But I do not want to use it. That is the most nerve-wracking thing in this whole thing, is the bonus time. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. I mean, that's a terrible throw. There we go. We're at 16 with 45 left. Come on. 17. Oh, get out, ball. That's way too high. There we go. That ball's crushed. Get to 20. Get to 20. Oh, no. One more. Come on, baby. Terrible. That was in on my hands. Okay, 30 seconds. Then we've got to hit three. There's one. Two. Come on. Get out. Three. At the buzzer. Yes. <laughs> At the buzzer. I did not want to swing off. Holy cow. All right. All right. Well, we know it's going to be a challenge. 22 just barely, barely under the time. Unbelievable. I am. That made me hot, guys. That made me hot. Definitely the toughest test we've had in a long time. All right. Let's see what uh, who's next here. My gosh, I need a I need a break. 525 career home runs for Shohei. That's going to make him a Hall of Famer. Nothing else he did but the 500. My goodness. I, we'll see if he gets there. That's impressive to go along with absolutely everything else he does. All right. Let's see here. Let's fast forward. We'll do next batter just to see. He hits 17. Casas now. Let's see what he's got. 313 in his career. Of course, he's a little younger than Shohei, but still. 500 is a, is a large, large number. Okay, fast forward. Next batter. Oh, tiebreaker. Okay, this happened last year, and we were sitting here a while, so hopefully we can just next batter it. Come on, just one, one tiebreaker. There we go. Okay, Casas moves on. They tied at 17, and Casas wins in the in the overtime round. Now we got Matt Mervis. Don't know what to expect out of these two guys. Uh, heard of Matt Mervis, not, not so much the other guy. He's got 24 on the year. Let's see, next batter. He hits 19, I mean, everybody is putting up numbers. Everybody is putting up numbers today. 207 from Robbie Ramirez. Again, just another guy I don't really know. He only hits 17, so Matt Mervis moves on. Now we got Christian Encarnacion. Again, probably pretty new. Fast forward, next batter, 17. I mean, no one has hit under 17. Vlad now, 
485, still in search of that 500 home run mark. He just is not getting there. Uh, that just makes what Shohei did that much more impressive. All right, next uh, batter. Who move forward? Oh, so Vlad only hits 15. He's out in the first round. We face Cr Tristan Casas here. Let's see what he's going to do next. User batter. He hits 17 again. Okay, so a little, little bit less than, than the first round, but, but we're also much more tired, right? So we shall see what Dill can do. We got we to gotta stop pulling the ball. And just hit him out. Let's go. 469 was my longest in the first round. That's just okay, Dill. Are we? Oh my God! I take I take a pitch. I was trying to see. I think yeah, Yankee Stadium. There's one. There's two. Come on, baby. There's three. Let's go. Let's just not get out, huh? There's four. I mean, they don't count outs, but you know what I mean. That's not gonna do it. Jinx myself. There we go. Back on it. Oh, a short. Okay. Yeah, we don't need the foot. We just need him to get out. Come on. Dang it. Five. Okay. There we go. Back on it. Let's go. That ball's up. Pitch. Come on. Did he? Yes, sir. He did. Yes, sir. Like to get about. Two or three more here. There's one. That kid out. Get out. Give me one more. Give me one more, Dale. Come on. Yes, sir. I mean, those are barely getting out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. What are we at? 11? Whew. Yeah, I need that Gatorade. Yes, sir. All right. Hopping right back in. Let's go. We're at 11. We need seven. There's one. Okay, one. Let's get seven in a row. Two. Come on, baby. Come on, Dale. Three, no. Four. No, three. <laughs> I'm pulling the outside pitch. Get out, ball. Come on, Dill. Ooh, no. <laughs> that was way too high. There we go. What are we at? 16. Need two, Dill. Need two in a minute. Oh, I don't know. Yep, that's one. Here we go. Come on, Dill. Oh, my gosh. That's good. probably going to get out. No. Got time, got time. Ooh. All right, got it done. Boy, oh boy. 17 felt way better. That's more my wheelhouse, right? <laughs> no, no bonus time, no dramatics. Just let me get in, get out, get my trophy, and move on. That's what we want to see, Dill. That a boy. All right, now we shall see. Pulling everything. It's a little different than, than years past. We're using the whole field. Uh, all right. Okay, Matt Mervis and Christian Encarnacion, both guys, we don't know what they've hit in their career. Might not be perennial power hitters, might just be youngsters here. Uh, next batter, it's 16 in the, so he's gassing, he's gassing out. <laughs> I don't know if he is. Fast forward to next batter. All right, it's going to be Encarnacion with his 16. That moves on, Matt Mervis only hit 13. So now we have to place... Incarnacion, who's the seven seed, by the way. We shall see what he puts up in his last round. He's only hitting the ball 429, okay? So he doesn't really have the juice. Uh, next user batter, what did he hit? 11. Oh, my gosh. Woo. I mean, I shouldn't be celebrating, but that is the lowest number we've ever had to face in the finals. All right, Dill, let's have fun with this, huh? Come on, nice and easy. Need 12 home runs to win. Get it done here, Dill. There's one. There's two. There's short. Dang it. Come on. Come on, Dale. Go on a little hot streak. I mean, just really not. Haven't hit one too, too good this round. Maybe he's gassing too. I don't know. I mean, pulled that ball. Ooh, oh, still cut out. I mean, this guy, come on, man. Get the ball down. There we go. I mean, he didn't get it down, but oh, my goodness. All right, don't, I mean, you can take it easy, but jeez. Get out, ball. Yes, sir. That's seven. Is that ball out? Eight. I mean, take it to the opposite field. Sure, Dale, sure. 
Nine. I mean, should I call a timeout? I suppose we probably should. Oh, it didn't get out. What? Okay, timeout, timeout, timeout. What? Would well, that ball to dead center look like for sure it was out? All right, we don't need much. Take a little break. Take a little breather. Enjoy. Enjoy where you're at. Let's go. Come on. Oh, Dilbert, come on. I guess maybe I, I should have gone into this thinking I had to get like 30. Oh, yeah, that's the best one all around. There we go. Look at that majestic shot. <laughs> Still only 466. That ball's going to go. It's going to go. I don't even see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Where'd it go? It's got 371. We get the win. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, boy. Wasn't without its dramatics, though. That's for sure. Dale's just as pumped as the other seven. Okay. Nice little shot. Shot of Dale accepting the trophy. But boy, I mean, thankfully, you know, the equipment didn't really come into, into play. We hit one 469, 464, 466. I mean, we hit them, we were hitting them further in games, but that that is kind of a testament to what Dill has been doing, right? We've seen a lot of balls just die at, at, at the fence. So we shall see. Ho I'm hoping, I am hoping that this little uh this little excursion to the home run derby allows Dill to forget about uh, you know everything that's going on and get back on track. Hopefully it sparks us. A lot of times it does. So we shall see. I'm going to move this back here before we hop into the home run derby. I'm going to back out real quick. I'm trying to get the, the, uh, another, uh, another MVP here. That's what we want to do. We are hitting three, of course, and let's see what we can do. Don't really know who we're going to face. Oh, did I just click sim this appearance? Well, I guess we're not playing the all-star game. <laughs> oh my God. What? Oh, well, that was a little, little boo-boo on my part. Oh, well. Oh, well, I'd never really liked the all-star game until I found out that there was a chance to get uh, the, uh, <laughs> the MVP of it. So now I'm a little upset that we didn't get to do that. I mean, I've never done that before in my life. I mean, this year has just been... That over and over. Just stuff I've never done before. And I just, I yeah, I simmed right through it. I mean, what, what did we even do? Can, can we see? Unbelievable. I mean, come on, man. It's my last All-Star game. Well, we've got the, the Baltimore Orioles now. They are in our division, which is a big deal because even though we're, we're absolutely tearing through the division, divisional opponents always, always play tough. We're just looking to get back on track. Of course, we're also just coming off a very good series against them. Um, what are we going to do, though, here? I think what we're going to do, uh, well, I thought it would be there, but it's not. So, I mean, I guess plate discipline. We're down to 46 at this point. Unbelievable. Plate discipline is the most difficult, I think, to upkeep because there's not, not a lot of chances to... Uh, to really uh, boost it in game, right? Like, I think like a check swing gets your plate discipline up, and then I, I really don't know what else. But if you miss a miss a pitch that's a ball, that's plate plate discipline down, which happens a lot more than a check swing. So that's probably why it's our lowest. And we are just, I mean, it is just a struggle bus for Dill. Oh my goodness, got twenty seven seconds figured out, Dill. Let's go. You just walked out on the all-star game you know you said i don't want to be here anymore what is happening what, I mean, it's got to be something in dill's personal life to make him this flustered on the on the baseball field oh we got the gold okay i was gonna say it's the easiest one if i don't get gold here i quit i quit the game of mlb in the show quit it for good you yeah, right i would never but we get the gold we move on we're going to forget about the All-Star game. We don't even know what happened. doesn't really matter anyways. has zero bearing on the season. Let's get to it. We're going to choose our uniforms here. We're at home. Uh, what are we going to wear for home? I don't think we've worn the, the Canada Day ones. I believe Canada Day is like uh, 
real close to Independence Day, I think. So I think, yeah, I think it's either like uh, like the 5th or like the 1st or something like that. So we're going to wear them. We didn't get to wear them on the actual day. Uh, so we're going to wear our Canada Day jerseys. Why not? I haven't worn them yet. We're hitting 534, which is, again, very good year, but it's embarrassing for Dill, right? We hit like 551 last year, and we're a better player. Just not not so much so far this year. We're looking to just go on a hit. We got to hit like 700. We got to hit like 100 home runs. We got to do a lot, a lot in the second half. Also got to check my uh, my gold glove status too. There we go. Get him. No, I mean, really? And we got to get first. I mean, the White Sox swept us after that disgusting four-game sweep. And um, they now they're battling for us for the first overall in the AL. So that's another thing we're going to have to watch. And then I hope my team I hope my team makes moves. That that's what I want before the end of this month. So we shall see John Gore on the mound. They'll boot in 534. Come on, Dill. Come on, buddy. Nope, that's not it. Not it. Swinging up balls. You know, and there was a time where they I mean, I think they still are but pitching me a lot of balls. There we go, huh? Good start. Right after, right after the home run derby, you hit dingers. Woo, that feels good. That feels good. It might be the start of something very, very good. That's opposite field, no doubter. Only 377, but man, man, it feels much better than that. Okay, let's see. We're up again, up 3 nothing. John Gorgon, what was that? Just a fastball, just middle, middle. Good for you, John. I mean, that's going to be a dub piece, huh? I mean, who is this guy? Look at this. I mean, you know, I did I, I did think that 9-7 bat was, you know, the end-all be-all, but I mean, this is my third series with a 6-8, and I, I feel like I am a much better player with a 6-8 bat other than a 9-7. Of course, a 9-7, 9 power, 7 contact, and we are now using 6 power, Eight contact, so kind of stacking contact a little bit because our, our batting gloves are uh, have one better in contact. I believe there's six contact, by pow. So, all right, four nothing deal. Probably just stole third there. That's okay. We got John Avedo on the mound. Throws 98. Okay, all right, all right, deal. Hey, that's all right. We're two for two. Haven't been two for two in a long time. All right. Now, I guess that's a shirt. Sure. I guess that's a strike. Whatever. Come on, Dale. Battle. Battle here. Again. Yes, sir. I don't want to say it yet, and I'm not going to. But he might be. You know. He might be. My goodness. We're at home. This is how the ball usually flies at home. Right? The last month and a half, it has just been. I don't know. They've been putting something in the air. That's what I like to see. Dale, two home run game. Wow. Hey, maybe skipping the All-Star game. Maybe that was that was the key. You know, taking that day off. All right. I mean, can we go for three? We go for three. I mean, I might lose it because it has been a long time. No. Down. But, yeah, we haven't had a, a two for two, three for three. When we were going good, when we were in in the middle of our uh, hit streak, we were starting the game off two for two almost every game. It felt like, and then it just all stopped. Everything everything came to an abrupt stop. I mean, that's gonna be probably another dub if not gone. Get out. Yes, sir. That's a three home run game, baby. Woo -hoo. We might have found something with these gloves. This little glove and bat combo. I mean, that I'm not even. Hit. Squaring it up. I'm hitting the ball to the opposite field. That's 413. We're at 92. I mean, if we can hit three a game, we're going we're gonna to game back. That's the other thing, right? If you've been watching, what we do is we try and hit a home run per game where we're four for th four, three bombs, a double, four ribbies. That's still boot baseball. That is still boot baseball. Uh, but our goal is, uh, you know, hit a home run each game and then hopefully... Uh, we can kind of sort it out at the uh, at the end, and uh, you know just 
like last year, you know, we, we kind of got ahead of that pace and didn't look back and uh, we ended up with 182. So that's kind of where we keep it that way, um, just so that way we're not falling behind in home runs. And we are about eight, eight home runs behind at this point. So anything from here on out will go to that total. Let's go, Dill. Come on, buddy. Mackenzie Gore, we're familiar. Ball out. I mean, if we if, now, I'm going to give it game two and game three because what has been a storyline during our struggles is a hot game one. I mean, not quite that hot. That was that, that was that was nice. Uh, and then we just kind of fall off, the, fall off. So we're never to be seen again. So we shall see. We got to link some games together here. That consistency, what I was talking about at the beginning of the season, we clearly found it when we hit safely in 56 games. And then we lost it. And then we lost it. 3-1. That ball probably should have been gone. Come on, Dilbert. Come on, buddy. Ball out. He walked me. Coward. He's just a coward. All right. First and second. Not much we can do here on the base pass, but... Just kind of watch, which is unfortunate. Jake still is sticking in that four hole. I really thought they might move him. I mean, in a perfect world, they go out and get a four hole, right? I mean, that's probably going to drop. Yes, sir. Oh, he didn't go. He didn't go. What a dummy. Get down, Dale. Get down. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we've played. This is our ninth season, and... Uh, <laughs> The Angels were the only teams that really, really made a splash, right? They uh, they went out and got, and I I think it was a little bit later. It might have been during my playthroughs, but like an Adley Rushman, they went out and got C.J. Abrams, and we haven't seen the likes of that since. We haven't seen big names coming to our team, so I'm hoping with them being the 19th, right, based in their power rankings, that we get some some heavy hitters at the trade deadline. I hope. I hope. I mean, come on, Billy. Billy Newman. Uh, our first baseman, though, is, like, killing it. He's an A potential. So that's a big bat. He hits two usually. And then we're, we are going to get Drew Jones back, who is our, our injured outfielder. He's really the superstar. But we ju we're just missing another power bat, that's for sure. That's going to score a couple. That boy. 3 nothing now. All right, and our OPS is 1,900. I mean, that's good. We want to get over two there. Uh, yeah, let's hit a home run. We're 0 for 1. Or no, 0 for 0. We got walked. That's right. Oh. Thought I saw it. Come on, Dale. Don't forget about that PCI. Let's go. Late. Late on a curveball. Come on, Dilbert. Come on. What do you think's coming? Probably that fastball. Let's go. Nope. Oh, it was a fastball. Just missed with it. Just missed. Didn't look like 95 either. Come on, Dil. Need you. I mean... Lungeon. That was terrible. I told you it didn't look like 95. I swung at it like it was 95. And it felt like it was about 88. So we're 0 for 1. We got some time, but I mean, I don't know. That at bat just did not, did not go well. Come on, Dale. Good pick. Good pick. Got him. 3-1. They're starting to claw back in this game. 4-5 in the series. Need a hit here, Dale. Need a home run. We got to add to that total. Let's go. And get the win. Ball in. I mean, Gore is just kind of all over the place, really. Come on. Mm. PCI problems, man. PCI problems. Come on, Dale. Don't forget to get that on down there. Oh, boy. That ball is out, Dale. He's pitching me almost the exact same way as the last at bat. Come on. Come on, Dilbert. Ball and 2-2. Two, two. Little better count for Dale. Still, got to protect. You got two strikes. Let's go. Come on. Oh, no. That's a ball, Dill. You know, 
I've got to have. I've got to be more disciplined at the plate. It's eight four now. There goes the sweep, unless we come up with bases loaded. And our little mini hit streak. I don't think we had a long one. Definitely wasn't the record like we had before. Which I, st I still have nightmares about that. The hit streak. Still nine four, bottom eight. Nobody on. We can go one for three. Eli Morgan on the mound. Thank God we're not facing Gore. He basically had our number. Eli up. And by number, I mean he threw us balls. And Dill does not hate walks. Hate him. I mean, that ball's a ball as well. Come on. Pitch me a strike. <laughs> uh, that's that's just where they're gonna live, huh? Come on. And then I'm early on the circle chance. Terrible. I'm gonna forget about this game. This was awful, awful. Back to back to. I wouldn't even say back to old Dill. That was just mental mental lapse. Four for seven in the series still because we had such a good first series. But my goodness, ahead of 95. I was ahead of 95 mile an hour fastball. And then the, you know Eli just throws a change up there and. Uh, of course, Sam Aldridge on the mound now. He also throws slow. There we go, Dill. Ha, huh? we're back. Okay. Don't know what happened game two. I want to start a, just a fresh new, fresh new hit streak here. That's that's all. Dang. It's 49 dubs on the season already. We might break our doubles as well. I mean, that that's a very real possibility. Come on, Jake. We got to have this win now. We got to win the series after Dill just didn't show up. Kind of like he didn't show up for the All-Star game. Just didn't show up for game two. All right, all four. I keep waiting to see a new face. Have not seen one yet. But we will check. We'll see what, what's going on there after after this game. I don't. I think it's a three-gamer, maybe a four-gamer. I don't. Don't really know for for certain. Got to play a little bit of defense here. My God, that last game was just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Still, I'm encouraged by game one, right? Three home run game. We're five for eight now. We got another double. If we can hit maybe two home runs this game, I, I think we might we might have found what what we're looking for in our equipment. No, another ground out. Dilbert Boot. That has been a theme these last two games. Grounding out early on balls. And that's just that's just me being over anxious and also surprising because I just came off. I don't know how many pitches I saw of 80 miles an hour. Right? With the home run derby. So I should be used to this slower stuff. It's just, I don't know. Excited, excited to be back. Come on, get up, get over his head. Off the wall, unbelievable, another dub piece. Oh, you got to get down, Dill. Still, that is much better, much better pulling the ball over people's heads instead of them making miraculous catches. I mean, at one point last episode, we thought the game was against us. It had turned against Dill Boot and was just giving us bad luck, at which, I mean, it basically was. I mean, some of the things that were happening were absolutely unreal so this is a little a little more the norm which i'm happy about still we're getting smoked here five nothing nine nothing we're gonna lose the series i mean would i rather have dill have a good series and lose it i think at this point with the way dill is going i think this is okay we can lose this series with high hopes that the team is going to catch up to Dill once Dill starts establishing the example, basically, which he's done all year. So when he struggled, the team struggled. 2-1. 2 though. Got it. Let's get a bomb, Dill. Come on. We had three in that first game. Looking to, looking to inch closer to our goal. Let's go. 2-2 two, two now. Come on, Dilbert. Come on, buddy. 
<laughs> oh, I was about to be so upset. Like, I, a backwards K. Come on, Dale. I mean, I wanted to swing. I did not want to walk. Oh, my God, off the wall again. Oh, I might be out. Another double. Just double machine. There we go, Dale. What do we have? Three home runs, four doubles. That's a pretty good series. Game two, we're going to strike that from the record. My goodness. But some encouraging signs. Encouraging signs. That three home run game, very encouraging. And then three balls basically off the wall. Well, two balls off the wall and the one in the gap. So it's look. Things are looking up for Dill. You win the home run derby, and you know it's just it's a different Dill out there. He's happier, right? He's got a little pep to his step. Three, two. I'm going here. I'm going. Oh boy, get back! I mean, does it? Oh my gosh! Go! 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 No! I mean. They were saying it has a chance, but they were, like, tracking the ball. I mean, I forget how to freeze in the game. Honestly, I forget how to just freeze. Shoot. Thank thankfully, there's only one out. As long as Billy Boyd does not strike out or ground in a double play. Dang it. That is Dill's fault. Dang it. I mean, I don't know. What? And he gets out of it. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Well, some two major mistakes, right? All of game two and uh, that running mistake. But overall, you're going to see the stats. It is a better deal than we have seen in recent weeks. Seven for 11, three home runs, four RBIs. We had all that in the first game. We were just three before this game. But like I said, we're starting at a right spot. We're going to keep adding to it. And I think, I think we can get back. It looks like, do we have one more here? Yeah, we got one more. This is a four gamer. So we got one more to add our home runs. Hopefully we can have another game like game one. We can also split this series miraculously after getting just beat up in games two and three. Bobby Miller on the mound. He throws 102. Oh, and he has a 100 mile an hour pitch. Yikes. I mean, this this was, this was the perfect guy for game two when I was a full second ahead of the pitch. All down. Hey, good eye, Dill. Good eye. Come on now. We're hitting 536. Oh, that was the pitch. I'm late. Okay. All right. 99's gas. Absolutely gas from him. Come on. Come on, Dill. Yikes late keep throwing it though i'll catch up i'll catch up come on don't need it need it that's gonna be a base hit swung at a ball that's all right that's all right dill that was like all we were doing before that was like 80 percent of our hits so i think the six bat the six eight bat is i i mean until it proves me wrong seems to be seems to be the right one for us no matter how good we get. I'm gonna steal a bag here. I don't know. We'll see what, what Billy Boy does here. Oh, going. Oh yeah, get in the gap. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Scoring from first. Oh my god. Oh man. I guess now it's happened to, to Billy Boy. That's too bad. Dang it. I mean he's on the way down at that point. That's a good catch. We're one for one for one, eight for twelve in the series. We got to start hitting some more bombs here. Three run home run will go a long ways here, Dill. Yes, sir. As I say, it, that ball is gone. Hit that Roger sign. Oh, just to the left. Oh, still. Whoo, we inch closer, inch closer to a home run a game. 93 inch closer to 100. Our goal is to get 100 by the All Star break didn't happen right it didn't happen so now we got to make the most out of the second half we're up three nothing though now thanks to that and we're, we're on our way to a split i mean we should we should have won this series as a team but i'll take a split i'll take a split and a very good series from dill nine for 13 got another guy on what are we gonna do here dill huh what do you want to do 
clutch. Work on your clutch. Miller's still on the mound. We hit that fastball all long ways. Come on, Dale. Ball down. Oh. I mean, he throws that pitch three times. I'm out. I am out. Ball down. Tried to. Well, that was a fastball, but. Come on. Bring it in the zone, Bob. Come on, Bob. Nope. He might not now. Uh, the base open. We shall see. Got to be ready for it, Dale. Got to be ready for it. Let's go. Ball up. 3-1. Let's see. Come on. Is he going to throw a strike? I mean, I went for it anyways. We're going to knock in that run. That's what I'm talking about, Dill. Don't. Uh-oh. Get down. That's our first single of this. Or no, we had that ground ball through the middle. Still, another rib for for big Dill. <laughs> I'm just calling him Bill. Bill Dute. Bill, our Bill is having a terrific series. 0 for 14. That's, that's terrific. You got to break out here, Billy Boy. You're hitting four hole. Let's go. No, sir. Let's see what, what uh, Arjun's doing here. He's three for four in the series. Why is he only three for four? That's a little strange because he's, I believe, our third best player, uh, stat, not stats-wise, but uh, overall as far as his ranking. So, is he walking that much? Oh, come on. Get off the wall. Do something. Get going. Nope. All right, we're still 4 nothing, hanging on. Dill, of course, 3 for 3. Unprecedented, like I said. Unprecedented times. Avedo on the mound again. We've seen him before. I mean, he did not throw me a... Bobby did not throw me a strike last time. I still got a hit off of it. Shoot, 96, outer half. Come on, Dill. Come on, buddy. You're better than that. Gonna be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Yes, sir. Another one, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I think Dill is back. I wanted to say it game one, and then we had game two that was miserable. Game three was okay. Now we're game four. We're back, baby. We are back. We are not ever going back to the nine seven bat. I don't think so. Maybe we will. I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe they bring out another bat. That's like a 10-10. I doubt it. But 6-8 seems to be working with these gloves, too. And I like these gloves. They were one of our, our first ones that we used. We get the win. We get the split miraculously. And Dill is crushing the ball again. Four for four, two home runs, two singles, 11 for 15, five home runs, 10 RBIs. I mean, that was like streak numbers right there. That's like wild card Dale number. Whew. So the split feels much better with that sort of production. Thankfully, thankfully, after a month and a half, I feel like I am comfortable with my swing again. It's taken a while. It took the home run derby to bring it out of me, I think. Uh, got some, got some equipment too. I mean, it's, it is looking much better. We're going to take a quick look at the calendar. Um, I just want to see what we got coming up. We've got Nats, we got Tampa Bay, and then, uh, we will probably hop back in here just to see kind of the, the finality, finality. I don't know. I'm not the last of the trade deadline. Okay. <laughs> Trying to be all fancy finality. I don't even think that's a word. We're going to see if we made any moves so far other than the one we saw earlier. Oh, we did. Okay. All right. Uh, let me move this. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Okay. Griff McCrary from the Phillies for Danny Flores. Okay. So obviously we didn't need an outfielder because we moved up two other guys that were not Danny Flores. We are going to see if Griff McCrary even makes uh, the rotation here. Of course. Of course. Oh, he's, he's in the pen there. We got him right, right here. Griff McCary starting pitching. He's 32. He's declining. Mm, I mean, that's depth. I mean, our, yikes. All right, so we shall see what what they do. I mean, that's nothing, nothing special. Obviously, not really gonna change the tide too much. Uh, let's just see. Uh, rotation. I just want to double check and see. What his stats look like? Oh my god! I mean, 
Am I reading that wrong? 10 2 ERA? That's who they wanted on the team? I mean, you could have just waited until they cut him and then just picked him up off waivers, but okay. Well, that's who we got, so I think we got worse with that trade. Uh, apparently, let, let's see what uh, what they think. Oh, we're 16th, so that made us a little better. Obviously, we needed depth, I guess, and bringing in a guy with a 10-plus ERA uh, makes us a slight bit better. Obviously, we still need a lot of help in pitching. Uh, we are 23rd, but... We are still leading the East, and the White Sox have caught up to us yet again. We split, and the White Sox have won five straight. So this might be a dog, dog fight down to the very last day. We shall see. The next big thing is hopefully, hopefully we get some help. Obviously, pitching help. I don't know if Griff McCary really helps. And then somebody behind me that can knock me in. It'll be interesting to see, and hopefully Dill can now... Breathe easy and just go out and hit bombs. But I want to thank you guys for watching this time. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, guys, we'll see you next time on Road to the Show with Dill Boot. Thanks.